I prepare myself for my upcoming last breath. But life is strange. Alfred, I have no desire to run this company anymore. I'm getting weaker day by day. I want to rest and take some time for myself. You are right. You surely are tired. Take some time. This evening, we all together and hold a family meeting at dinner to make a decision of the company's future. As you wish. I will let everyone know. Greetings, my family. I can observe that you can't hide your curiosity as to why we are here tonight. Mmm, quite exciting. Continue, father. Well, well, my beloved ones. As you might guess, I have arrived at some point in my life and have gotten older enough to leave my place at the company to you, for our family business to proceed to the next generations. Sir, how do you decide for the shareholders and with what percentages? Well. Surely, I'll split it into two halves for my children. 50%? Is he joking? You are the older one. Why bother that much? I'm satisfied with 50%. But I'm not fine. You have to get what you deserve and do something. We have to do something. Um, you are right, my dear. This is what I meant to do since the beginning. Are you well prepared with all the wedding stuffs? Pretty well. But you look thoughtful. What's the matter? You know, um, last evening... The dinner, right? Ah, yes. Yet, you seem to be alright with the sharing. Change your mind? Um, after giving some thought on the issue, I think you had better step back. Oh, wait a second. What do you mean, sister? You heard what I said. You best give up on your shares. What for? I mean, why do you think so? It's crystal clear that you are still childish and have no experience in running our business. Why do you oppose to our father's decision? He won't agree with you, I believe. Don't you talk to him. He's quite tired nowadays. We'll see. Oh, father, I must tell you something. Are you okay? I'm listening to you. Terrible things happened. Charlotte wants me to give up on my shares. She thinks that I'm not capable enough to run our business. I didn't expect such kind of manner from you too. But I'm innocent. You need to reconsider your decision. She has got brainwashed by Jack and they are quite greedy. It will be devastating for the company's future. I want it all. I'm disgusted by you. Leave the room. Get out. I shouldn't have done such a thing. It's a big shame. What happened? My dears, my lovely daughters baffled me a lot. They are blinded by their severe greed. Aren't they happy with your decision? No, they aren't. They are fighting for more. So, what are you going to do? I don't have any clue, but at least it's a relief that I have your presence here. I know you will take care of them. Henry, I appreciate your trust. However, I need some rest too. I'm getting weaker and weaker and weaker. Oh, what's going on? My dear family, I've been working so hard for many years to provide you the best. Yet seeing you in such greedy manners, it put me into tremendous sorrow. The only one amongst you, the one who has never changed, was Alfred. So I changed my mind and decided to give my all wealth to him. Manners make it manners.